Welcome to PresentDiabetes.com. I'm Hope Warshaw, dietitian, diabetes educator, and nutrition section editor for PresentDiabetes.com. I'm pleased to bring you these live video snippets from the 2009 AADE meeting in Atlanta, and we're bringing them to you in near real time. So let me welcome uh, Liz Quintana from West Virginia. And uh, Liz, why don't we start by you filling us in on what you do in the world of diabetes education. Mm -hmm. I'm a registered dietitian and certified diabetes educator. So I get to see patients talk about their nutrition and how best to manage their diabetes. Any, anything from uh, testing blood sugars to uh, reducing any complications they may have. Great. And you mentioned that you were in a medical school environment. So what do you do with that hat mm -hmm. on? Well, in a, a medical school setting, I get to work not only with patients, but uh, future practitioners, um, dental students, medical students, nurses, mm -hmm. everyone who is going to encounter folks with diabetes. Great. So tell us the title of your talk here. I know you're presenting actually tomorrow. It's Friday at the meeting, and you're, are you one of the last sessions? Uh, I'm or next the, to the last? Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm actually, I'm presenting at 8.30 in oh, the right, morning, right, right after the walk jogathon. Oh, so, good. We'll so, awake. <laughs> <laughs> so people will hopefully will jog it into our, our uh, program. Uh, it's called At Your Fingertips, uh, web-based diabetes education. Great. So share with us a couple of key messages that you hope people walk out of the room with. Well, with the internet technology that we have today, we have access to a lot of information and also misinformation. <laughs> and so working with not only with colleagues who are not necessarily diabetes educators but have an interest and also with our, uh, the people that we serve, our patients, mm -hmm. it's very important that they get sound uh, evidence-based information. Mm -hmm. And uh, so what I'm presenting are sources of mm -hmm. uh, reliable, correct information and how to uh, seek that information to compare, to diagnose, things to look for, mm -hmm. how to navigate the, this particular good, technology. Good. So what are your two top websites that you like people to go to? Well, there, there are several of them. Of course, the government website, mm -hmm. nutrition.gov, NIDDK. Okay. yes, NIDDK, of course, and uh, 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 the uh, D-Life is another one mm -hmm. that's very consumer friendly. Mm -hmm. And some of our colleagues can, uh, can benefit from um, websites that are geared for consumers, because this way they get a general background, a mm -hmm. foundation, then mm -hmm. they can go into the ones that are targeted for health professionals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, so in terms of being at this meeting for a few days, what are two take-homes for you? Well, there are, there are several things that I have learned, and uh, you know, unfortunately we don't have the time to go through all of them, and of course uh, getting to share my experience with people like you and mm -hmm. others, and, uh, and uh, I guess the uh, uh, buzzword has been energized. Uh, mm -hmm. I feel very good about what I do, mm -hmm. and uh, look forward to going back and sharing what I learned from this meeting. Great. Well, I appreciate your time and stopping by, and uh, hopefully people out there will enjoy listening to this little snippet and a few of the other snippets that we've put online. Thanks. Thank you for letting me share my story. You're welcome.